All right, so this is my tablet turret. It's a um, total contraption, way overkill, but super fun. It demonstrates a lot of uh, pretty good design elements, and I think it's a fun exercise. And um, yeah, for people who think like I do, it'll you'll enjoy it. It's entertaining. Uh, the idea is that it's... Um, really for like your desktop or kitchen counter where you've got your tablet set at a certain angle that you want and then this gives you convenient rotation of it it's really hard to demonstrate without an ipad in it how effective it is but i'm using my ipad for recording this video so i can't show you with it in but um, i can show you that with the case this is the ipad case this is a 11 inch ipad and with the case it shows you kind of the size of it but the mass of the iPad is what really makes this feel good. Without anything in it, when you rotate it, it feels okay. But when you put a heavy iPad in it, you can really feel how nice this all rotates and works. And it's not really meant to be a portable thing to fold up because the joints are so stiff that it's not super convenient to um, you know collapse and put away. But it is foldable. You can... Um, it's probably easier on the if I put on the thing here to show you. You can flex them all and kind of get it compacted, but there it's meant to be quite stiff so that you don't have much play. And I think I've struck about as good a balance as I can for that because once you put your iPad in, you don't want your iPad moving when you touch it. Or I keep saying iPad, I mean tablet. It doesn't matter what we put in it. Yeah. So let me show how it goes together. Uh, I printed everything in PLA except for the TPU feet that go in the bottom that give it a little, try and give it a little bit of grippy on your surface. And I'm not going to lie, making these videos is frustrating for me. Uh, and I've done this already twice since my third attempt with cameras stopping and things going wrong. So I'm not going to reassemble it all. I'm gonna, just going to show you how it goes together. So I've already got three of the feet in. The TPU feet. The print bed side is meant to go inside. The, uh, the top surface of it has two ridges on it, and I did that to try and make it grip um, the counter or whatever surface you're on a little better. So with the, that side exposed, just press it in like that, and you're done. So that's the base uh, ready to build on. And again, I've already done this too many times, so I'm not going to completely disassemble it and reassemble it. But the, the, the pin bearings, you just put them in between the nubs, like this and then slide them over and then it's it snaps into position do that all the way around there's 24 of them looks like i've lost oh no i haven't lost one there, there and once that's fully assembled it goes in upside down super important or it won't rotate properly once they're in right they really rotate this is a new design by the way which i'm going to repost uh, new designs for the lazy susan because i've made it way better than it used to be uh but that's another project so once that's in, then the next thing is to build the orbiter. Uh, the main thing is to make sure that you've got the teeth facing the right way. So you can test them by just put it, pressing one up against the center uh, gear on the, the base and then drop them onto the posts. They will all be facing the same way. So if once you see which way one's facing, just make sure they're all going in the same direction. And if you're like me, you get one stiff post. I believe that's because of the layer-to-layer uh, -layer transitions. You're just getting a little bit of a burr there. So I sanded mine a bit, but it's okay if it's a little stiff. All of these are designed to be very tight fit because you don't want play at the end once this thing's built. So those just then sit on there and then flex them out. You can, it's easier to get one on. Actually, I found if you take a screwdriver and flex that, that post you can get them down even easier once you get them started they tend to go down fairly easily and you can just give them a smack they'll snap in a combination of smacking and flexing and once they're on they should because they're double helical they should stay in place fairly well and I, you maybe can't see from the video, but that's quite stiff, but that's the intention. You want them to be quite tight. There's almost no play in that. And then once that's done, the next thing to go on will be the turret. But before we put the turret in, it's easiest to put these. This is a turret to arm component. And so I created a twist and lock 
situation. So you just drop them in sideways, rotate it, and it's now locked. If you want to take it out, you have to press this tab up away from it, and then you can take it out. So it goes like that. And when it's in, the V should be facing forward. So when you're looking at this angle, you should see the V uh, looking forward. So make sure when you put the second one in, it's the same. So that one's not. So just flip it around. And then they're both sitting the same way. And now that goes on to these. Again, it's a tight fit and there's no give. So you're going to have to flex it a bit. But if you take a screwdriver or something, flex those posts, you can get the teeth to go in. And there you go. You're built. Uh, last for the base is this uh, center lock. And it screws down into the middle. And when it gets to the end, you'll hear it click. That's it right there. Clicks into place. And that's because there's a sprung latch here. So again, if you want to take it out, lift that, pull that out from the bottom and then rotate the top and you can unscrew it. But I'll put it back and then it's locked. So that's the base built and you're ready to go. The top pad is the next piece. Uh, this one's already been done, but you just pull this apart to break the, if, if it's fused a little bit from the print, you just make sure those are opening freely. And then these two components can go in in either direction and on either side. So they're all identical and it doesn't matter which way they face. Once you've got those in, the next thing is to make sure that as you put this in, that these legs are the right leg for the side. So that one mates there, so that goes here, and that one mates there, so that goes here. So at that point, you can just slide that in and put a cap on it. Tight fit, just squeeze it hard. That goes there and then snap those together align them up actually it's best if they're up like this for the next stage and that's because what we're going to do is just line these teeth up once you align it up the the in my case the gray part the arm should have one tooth outside the base part tooth so like that not like that so like that and once it's in that position you can just hold that by dropping in one of these you want to just double check after you've got it in that you've, you didn't change your alignment because that, that can shift as you're applying pressure. So do the other side, same. Push that in and then the, the cap part goes in on the other side to lock it. My intention is that those are quite stiff now and so uh, don't be surprised that they are quite stiff. So when you want to lift it, make sure you hold the base and they'll rotate up. And then you can adjust your the tilt on the on the pad side, and you're built. Fold out your components and drop in your tablet, and there you go. Yeah, that's it. Let me know what you think, and if you have any trouble, uh, we can always adjust some of the parts if needed. But I think it's pretty good the way it is. And once you get it built, it'll loosen up a tiny bit too, so you can you know break it in. I guess is the way to put it. Anyways. Thanks.